The pandemic has hindered the war on plastic waste. An estimated 1,500 tonnes of face masks and gloves are being thrown away in the UK each month. Quite a shock to see how plastic like you know, PPE have been impacting uh, our society. Uh, we find them uh, in the road a bit of everywhere. During lockdown, it's been really rare that I've not come across PPE that have been uh, just you know, left uh, on, on the grass. Much of this monumental waste ends up in landfill, where it'll take centuries to decompose. But a vast amount is also dropped on the ground, making its way into our ecosystems. Plastic bags have been overtaken by face masks as one of the most common pieces of plastic waste. In fact, one organisation estimates that 102 million of these are chucked away in the UK every single week. That's enough to cover 232 football pitches. For Councillor Clyde Lokes, who chairs the North London Waste Authority, there's a simple short-term step. We're really encouraging uh, people to kind of move where they can to using reusable face masks. During this pandemic, we shouldn't be forgetting that we are still in a climate emergency and we all need to be doing everything we possibly can. What worries me the most... Professor Julian Hallett is a plastic expert. He believes biodegradable material is the long-term solution to future PPE production. When you think about things that you might drop and things that might get thrown in the bin, um, I think it's important that those have a very short lifetime and by very short, maybe on the order of years, rather than the order of centuries. And is that possible? It's certainly possible. Um, the downside, of course, always is cost. And uh, those materials cost two to three times more than the traditional plastics. The impact of COVID-19 has pushed plastic pollution to pre-pandemic levels. If biodegradable material is the solution, governments may have to be prepared to spend more on PPE. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews.